Good morning, everybody. Um, happy Sunday and happy Father's Day to both biological and non-biological and to the mothers who are fathered many. More than all, I want to pay tribute to Father God. Happy Father's Day, God. Because not only he's our, oh, you know, we are created in God's image, but he fathers us. And he's one of the best fathers that our fathers could ever imitate. And there's some people who have never had father, and even when our fathers are imperfect, we can always know that God will make up and make up for the lack. But I'm mindful that some are grieving today and that today will always be a painful memory for some. Some have been stuck in their grief. Even though it's been years, they've lost their dad. Some have had bitter, woeful memories of their father. Some have been hurt severely physically, emotionally, and sexually by their dad. And even some have been abandoned. Some have been, find themselves in tricky situation because they've never had a father's love. So this is not a happy day for everybody. And some have had grief and losses. And I just want to be mindful of that this morning as some are hurting. But you hear me talk about the God who mothers me. The beauty about the God we serve is, <laughs> <laughs> the careful I say this. <laughs> he doesn't specify an agenda. <laughs> he can be anything you want him to be. He can be a father. He can be a brother. He can be a friend. He can be anything you want him to be. And I want to introduce you to the father of all fathers and mothers and everybody and all of us, the God who's fathered us. Happy Father's Day, God. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. And happy Father's Day to my many spiritual dads. And I want to say especially that those who are hurting this morning, that may you experience God as a father in some new and interesting way. Trust me. He's the best father you could ever have. Just like some of us discovered that he's the best mother. Not to discredit our own mothers, but when you've lost those whom we call mothers and fathers, we can always turn to one person. It's not easy because he's not physically there, but trust me, you can feel him like he's right there. Just call out to him. Yes, he's faithful. He's absolutely amazing. He's trustworthy. He has a heart of gold. And he will always be there for you. He's ever present, ever loving. He's efficacious. He's rare. He's just that rare ruby in your gem. And most of all, he's royal. And these are just little adjectives that are not even sufficient enough to describe the father you have in God. God, we just want to pause to let you know that we love you and we appreciate you. And you promise that if a mother can forsake the child that she bear, though she may forsake you, you will never forsake us. You also promise, Father, just like the prodigals, you'll be looking out for us. You will always be there. Your present help in a time of our trouble. We don't always feel you. We don't always see you there. But we have to remind ourselves that because you said you're there, you'll be there. You even said that if you take care of the, of the, the sparrows, the cheapest of birds, it has the cheapest value in Israel. How much more will your heavenly father care for us? So look at the lizard, lilies. They toil it, let it do their spin. And they're arrayed in all their glories. Are you not more than these? You may feel a little devalued this morning. Just remember that God says, you are more than all the radiant beauties of the flowers around you. And your father, who loves you amazingly, and I know you won't feel it today, especially for those who have fresh loss of their fathers. I don't want to be sensitive to that. I know somebody who can go deep down inside and can touch you in some amazing ways. 
that only he can touch you. I pray even now that his anointing be over you and that you will feel him close in some intimate and unspoken ways, some unreal ways than you expected. And that you will know it's not just anything there, it's God. It's God who is just loving you and fathering you this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm going to lift up those who are hurting and grieving this morning. The fatherless, the biologically fatherless, those who have been yearning for a dad and those who have recently lost their father. And I lift up Daniel and Gabriel and Janice and all those who have lost their dad recently. And, they, and there's some people, God, who haven't grieved and haven't gotten over the loss of their dad. Some people whose grief has been compounded. Some people have been hurt by their dads. So every Father's Day is a reminder of the abandonment, the abuse they encounter, Lord. So Father, I pray that this morning that you will bring them comfort and healing to their wounded souls, Lord. Father, I want to lift up those, Lord, who, whose father are sick and maybe on their way out and they're even at the hospital this morning, Lord. For those who have thought of a father and to even think of you as a father, is hurtful, Lord. There are many people who can't see you as a father because of the relational encounters they've had with their fathers. Lord, of little of fathers, that you will bless them and teach them to be fathers after your heart. Teach them how to be fathers like you, Lord. Some of them have um, specialized and that learn from the patriarchs that you treat your children equally. They will come back to bite you. And there's some fathers who about fathers and mothers, and there's some mothers who are mothers and fathers. We want to lift those up, especially, Lord. God, that's not your plan. And for the orphans, Lord, and the widows, I lift them up too, God. You specialize in caring for the orphans and the widows. You get mad when we mistreat them and we don't care for them, Lord. God, we just ask you to be there to all of us this morning. Holy Spirit, I pray that your spirit of comfort will be to the hurting and that you will show up big time in the lives of those who need you today. Pour your spirit out measure and we thank you, God, for being such an amazing father in our lives, we pray. Amen. Happy Father's Day, fathers. Happy Father's Day, God. Bless, bless.